Right, Jumpman. A game I haven't played a lot. But it's a cool game. It's right up there with uh, Donkey Kong. I always have to guess at the jumps. There's a nice nifty split screen uh, being used in this uh, in this uh, Commodore 64 program as the top two lines are character mode and the rest of the screen is graphics mode. One of the first games to actually employ that. Oh, I always think that the screen wraps round, which is not the case. And I die. I keep dying. But I'm playing. It's quite tricky to get off the ladders. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking that this game actually, the sounds and stuff, and the letters, it's actually very much like uh, the game Bruce Lee. Um, apart from the fact that you are not practicing any martial arts, but just are, you know, you're defusing bombs, collecting bombs, um, which is quite, quite funny. quite hard to get off those ladders. I always seem to be wanting to jump sideways and of course I jump off the screen and die again. You see I rapidly go through all my lives. I'm not very good at this game. It's, it's, it's a nice game though. I like this type of games. Um, it's quite reminiscent of other games played way back. I'll show a couple of them that are very similar. And if it takes the entire 10 minutes of YouTube, I will show you that I'm able to finish. <laughs> well, I have one life left and I will show you that I can finish this level. I suck. It is possible that I will only show you videos of me playing games that I'm actually good at. This request by Matt, Matt Barton, uh, requesting me to play this game actually shows my weaker game on gaming size. Right, and now some similar games. Big Axe Pete, or How Vele Henkie in Dutch, for the Philips Video Pack is a game that is rather similar, uh, although a bit different, but um, the way the main character falls in Jumpman and the animation of the character falling in this game is actually vertical identity. Uh, vertical identity. This is actually what the gameplay consists of, but a nice 4K game. A Commodore 64 game, also quite similar. Minor 2049er on the Commodore 64. Your basic Donkey Kong. Collect the goodies, um, avoid the baddies, um, make everything the same, bright color type of game. Uh, Wagger for the Commodore 64 and others. Commodore 16 is a good example. But this game, Manic Miner. This, this version is for the Commodore 64. Is a prime example of a lot of the, the games that were created in the early 80s. Um, platform action, pixel perfect platform action. Very difficult. Multi channel sound on the ZX Spectrum. Now, this version of Manic Miner is the version of Manic Miner. Um, on the spectrum. No version is as good as this one. Uh, pixel perfect platform action and uh, it's just amazing. Uh, the little piano part you saw in the first 
part? Well, that's actually the first Spectrum game to feature multi-channel sound, uh, which is which was impossible for the ZX Spectrum, the basic ZX Spectrum. Um, well, they did it. Also, the sounds in this game for a Spectrum are also very interesting. You hear a lot of sounds going on at the same time, which is actually not possible for the ZX Spectrum. Well, they do it. Uh, well, this is uh, me signing off. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, I was a bit suicidal in the end, but you know, that's what the game does to you. You just, you know, in the end you just can take it and just jump at your enemies.